Any questions from anybody? Uh, no, no, sir. Thank you. Now I'll give one scenario in here. Just give me how can you handle this? Yeah, okay. Sir. Yeah, so <clears throat> I have invoice like customer invoice of 1000. And the receipt customer has made payment. Uh -huh. Customer has paid one thousand. It's a real time scenario. So you invoice and applied the customer receipt to invoice. Now everything is fine. Uh -huh. After fifteen days, customer has returned the material. Okay. So, what you can do in this case? Well, for this, uh, if, uh, if the client is using a dispute management system, so based on uh, how they'll, uh, they're uh, doing the refund, uh, so how we'll can identify the refund? How can you do the refund where? So, so based on a uh, year, year customer or supplier, it will be considered as a part in a uh, trading community architecture layer. So, <laughs> you are, you are going somewhere else. Right? I'm asking like a customer has one invoice, one thousand, mm -hmm. receipt mm -hmm. one thousand. Already this is closed. The receipt is mm -hmm. closed and the invoice is closed. Okay. Nothing is open. Now, latter point of the time, customer has returned the material. Mm -hmm. If you, you are telling, uh, I have to refund him, right? How can I refund? Well, how to process the refund in uh, Oracle Fusion? In which screen? Sir, we have to raise the credit memo. Yeah, credit memo is fine. Yeah, we have to raise the credit memo. Then, uh, then under that credit memo, we have to go to that actions. We have to create a receivable activity for a refund. Okay. And there is a refund limits. Uh -huh. Refund limits as well, sir. Uh, ah, okay. Refund limit. Refund approval limits. Credit memory refund limit, right? <laughs> yeah, yes. So, uh, and uh, we we must uh, have a sub, uh, payables configuration should be done. Uh, for payables this. configuration is there. Yeah. Don't worry about this. From receivable side, what we can do? So, uh, under, in which screen? So either we can uh, we can create a refund uh, invoice or else uh, under refund the we can issue a uh, refund. So under refund. credit memo, we can uh, issue a refund, sir. Go to actions and issue a refund. Under uh, sir, we go, sir, we can do the refund in uh, uh, receipt work area only. The receipt already done, right? So how can I do so that? We have we we have to adjust with the credit memo, right? Ah, but receipt, how can we create? Uh, receipt already done, right? I have created uh, the receipt. On, so yeah, I create on, another receipt. Can... So we can do netting or something or? No, no, netting is not required. Hmm. So you are telling me credit memo uh, screen, can we do refund, Ravi? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Uh, under that, uh, uh, go to actions, we can issue that as a refund. So it is agreed, so we can issue that amount as a refund. Uh, show me once. Let me... Uh, you can open any uh, credit. Yeah. Yeah. Sir, actually, we will have to go to the payables and raise an invoice, right? The payable is not, uh, it will run automatically, payable invoice. I'll show you. Okay, so, credit memo.
Okay, suppose this one I want to refund this uh, minus 200. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can click on this. Okay, where can I go? Uh, if you uh, come down, uh, there is an option. Where? Huh. There is no refund option, right? Uh -huh. How can you do that? Okay. Have you done the refund process? A refund? Uh, no, I didn't configure, but uh, generally... You have to issue refund in the receipt screen only, right? Uh, but in this we'll case, applying, uh, 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 we'll apply applying the receipt at the same email. time, you can use refund, right? For example, uh, in the scenario, so it should be remitted, I, sir. Actually, uh, it should be remitted. Then only we can able to refund. Yeah. So, for example, here the invoice is one thousand, mm -hmm. and customer has made payment suppose twelve hundred. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the receipt has not made, then you can 200, you can refund from receipt screen. But here, everything is closed. Now, the business wants that I want to, there is a credit memo exist, but credit memo you cannot apply to invoice because credit memo uh, invoice is already closed, right? Applied receipt. Mm -hmm. Now, how can we process uh, refund? That is my question. So here, what we can do? Let me show you. For example, this is, for example, this credit memo, okay? So 200, suppose we have to refund. What we can do? We can go to receipt. Account receivable. Create receipt. Business unit. It is so this is a real time scenario we recently faced. So epic check. Now the receipt already happened. So Create a receipt to zero receipt amount because as we want to process the refund, mm -hmm. we create a zero receipt. Okay. Once you create zero receipt, click on add receivable. Transaction name. Customer name is EP customer. Now we, we only need the credit memo, right? Don't because we want to yeah. process the report. So we need the credit memo. Okay. Okay. Epic custom. Search. So this is the 200 credit memo. Add, mm -hmm. done. So now credit memo is applied to the refund. You get a negative balance here, right? Once you apply. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. Sir. Now you get a negative balance for that customer and we'll, we are now <coughs> good to create a refund, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Because we have zero receipts. Then we create the, apply the activity. Now go to action more issue refund. So 200 refund amount, okay? Sir, why we are applying uh, credit memo to receipt, sir? Can, can we uh, initiate directly? Is it possible to initiate directly? Initiate directly means? So, uh, based on credit memo, can we able to issue the funds, sir? How how we can do that? 
Okay. If you don't apply, the how will get the negative uh, customer balance? <laughs> yeah, yeah, understood, sir. Yeah. So it should be reflect. Uh, so, okay. Because our purpose is to issue a refund when there is a balance, right? Mm -hmm. But the receipt already yeah, yeah. created. We cannot give any amount. So that's why we are applying the credit memo. And credit memo, we have to close also, right? If you don't mm -hmm. apply it, we receive, how can you close? Okay, okay, yeah, understood. <laughs> Click on okay. Okay. Uh, issue refund, the refund amount, customer party name. So now you will see refund is created. Now negative, positive, nullified. Okay. So issue amount should be in a positive manner. Oh, sorry, I have not given the that uh, activity we have to give here. Did not generate. So once you save it, you will get the application reference. This application is reference nothing but the AP invoice. If you go to AP, Manage invoice. Invoice number is so now it became a supplier automatically, right? During the refund process, EP custom okay. created a supplier and created a AP invoice. If you go to line amount and distribution, you will see the accounting value. Okay. Whatever account activity, refund activity you have given, which was credited there, it will be debit here as a expenses. Uh, uh, receipt application, it should be negative. Uh, uh, when it comes to refund, it should be positive. So both will be nullified. Yeah. As we are creating a credit memo, it's negative. Huh. We are applying <coughs> transactions, then it's a positive, right? Huh. Yeah. Yes. So now you see distribution account. This is picking this account. This is the refund account, activity account. To go mm -hmm. here, 2201 account. This is the item expenses account, automatically it speaks, which was debited. Now, if you here uh, come to refund, account in draft. This is refund account is credited, right? 2201 account. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, sir. And this receivable account is debited. So now this is kind of intermediary account, this refund account, activity account, which is credited here. AP invoice again debited, right? <laughs> yeah, yes. Then it will create a liability account. Hmm. 
okay in the once you <coughs> create accounting for this and refund you have to always pay through already made payment like customer has outside made payment in this case so mm -hmm. you can create a clearing check payment okay just to record here uh, mm -hmm. all the payments customer payment so if you go to account in draft just check the accounting here so it, instead of normal refund process you will get this kind of refund uh, scenario actually so mm -hmm. you have to handle like this you have to create a zero receipt mm -hmm. and uh, because sometimes what happens uh, everything happens outside of system mm -hmm. and this refund realize that uh, business will realize that after creating and finishing closing everything after one month two months customer will refund there is as per their agreement mm -hmm. like i can refund the material even after one month so there are big uh, like machines or uh, some uh, equipment so there will be refund uh, policy will be like that 15 days one month okay so based on that refund policy uh, the customer can refund even uh, after 15 days after one month but at that time already everything is closed customer has paid but in that case you have to again refund the amount to customer right yeah yeah yes sir uh, do we have any reference number with the invoice for that particular credit memo a reference number this one na this is refund number as well as invoice number ha huh, this is a reference number uh, through ap sir so i am asking about the invoice uh, yeah, transaction personal amount. invoice right Ah, yeah, AR invoice, invoice and AR credit memo. Ah, AR invoice that is already closed. Nothing to worry about that. But you can, in description, you can mention which uh, uh, invoice number you are uh, going to mm -hmm. refer. So yeah, that should be mentioned manually itself. Uh, uh, it's, manually, there is no automation because uh, okay. invoice is already closed. You can do anything. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah. Sir, generally in in a business scenario, when the business is recurring, uh, they always have some new invoice, right? So mm -hmm. when we raise the uh, credit memo, we generally apply it against any new invoice, or sir, what should we do? New invoice, if you want. Why you need new invoice again? Uh, like for no, the. No, I'm saying, uh, sir. I'm saying that. Uh, in your scenario, there was only one invoice, right? Ah, ah, that is ah. why we had to do all this. Ah, Sir, right. in case there is any other invoice ah. with that customer, ah. right? Ah. No, uh, yeah, if because business is going on, he has bought again something. Okay, then yeah. He, yeah. Uh -huh. So, sir, in that case, we will apply that credit memo to the new invoice, right? Yeah, it's, it's, there is no hard and fast rule. It depends upon your uh, customer agreement. Like if you can uh, adjust the one invoice amount with another invoice, that you can do also. Sir, because what can happen is this customer has bought one machine. Hmm. Next month, he bought two machines. Hmm. Now, this one machine that he bought this last month is uh, some problem. He's saying, I don't want this. Please yeah. issue a refund. Then you will say, okay, you know, you have a new invoice with two machines. We will raise a credit memo and adjust it against that, right? Ah, uh, that you can do. If there is a, uh -huh. in case of one-time customer, you can uh -huh. use this. One -time. But if it's a recurring uh -huh. customer, uh -huh. you can follow that policy. No problem. Like, right. but sir, we can also do this in case they want to keep everything separate. Uh, you know, they say, no, our accounting department will get confused. You keep everything separate. Then we can use this one, right? Right, right. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So this is one kind of scenario. Whatever you told, that is, can be another scenario, right? In uh, other situations. Right. Like, in, yeah. Right.